Let's look at some force body force diagrams. Uh, these are basically diagrams that show the force or forces that are acting on an object. And they help us illustrate how those forces interact to move that object or not move that object. Um, let's look at a couple examples. Um, let's take a book, okay? And if I have my book and I drop it, there's obviously a force that's acting on it, right? That's the force of gravity. Uh, but if I have my book and I hold it on a table, okay? Gravity is still a force applied to that book, but the book is not moving, right? There's no, there's no change in the book. So there's another force that's acting on the book, and that force is what we, we call a normal force. So if I do a, a diagram of my book, I've got a force down, which I'm going to call Fg, force of gravity, okay? But I have another force acting up on that book, and that's the normal force. That's the table applying an equal force on that book so that book doesn't fall to the ground. Okay? Let's look at a falling balloon. Now, the reason we're using a balloon is I want to have something that is falling at a constant velocity. Okay? Because if it's just falling like that book, uh, we, we pretty much have just the force of gravity. right? Okay? But that falling balloon with a constant velocity, again, has the force of gravity, Fg, forcing it down. Okay? But Constant velocity means it is not accelerating, it's moving at a constant velocity. So there's another force acting on it here, and that is the force of the air friction or air resistance, which is pushing up on it. Okay? So two forces on that falling balloon. Okay? Let's look at another one. Let's take the book on the table, and now let's move that book along the table. Okay? So I obviously have a force of acceleration, which I'm applying to the book to cause it to move. Okay? But as I'm moving it across the table, there's another force pushing against. And that force is the friction of the table. Okay? So it's applying a force back on that book. Okay? I also have a force applying downward pressure on there. That's the force of gravity. Okay? And then I have a force, equal force going up, which is the normal force, the force of the table being applied back up to the book. So see, these are some of the ways we can use a diagram to illustrate all the different forces that interact on moving and stationary objects.